I'ma change your life, I'ma change it. Yeah. I'ma change your life, life. I'ma change your life, I'ma change it. I'ma change your life. Hello everybody, what is good? What is Gucci? Pardon my false Italian. I just want to make sure you are all doing spectacular today. My name is Zoe Elena, welcome back to The Blonde Greek, and since I have gotten a lot of questions on my TikTok lately, which if you don't already follow it, the username is at zoe.elena.w, the same as my Instagram username, I have gotten a lot of questions on loan processing lately. So then I went ahead myself and researched some stuff on YouTube or TikTok to see if anyone else does talks about stuff similar to loan processing and there is not too much information out there on that but there's a lot of people requesting for information so today I wanted to make this video to educate the, kind of the basics of what loan processing entails and what my responsibilities are as a loan processor. Therefore without further ado I would like to share with you who are beginning of thinking going into home lending or loan processing or are beginning a new job or already in it some insight onto what being a loan processor is like. First things first what the heck is a loan processor? A mortgage loan processor is someone who works behind the scenes of what goes into processing a mortgage loan. As a processor, you will prepare loan files by gathering appropriate documentation. Some examples of appropriate documentation could include employment verifications, W-9 forms, and appraisals to be just a few of the examples. You are mainly responsible for submitting appropriate documentations to the appropriate departments for approval. It's a very underserved area of mortgage as well as a very small sector of being a loan processor, but it's also very essential to the process of getting a loan approved. I play a huge role in making sure appropriate documentation is submitted, are uploaded and organized as well, as well as communicating with the appraiser vendors to ensure the necessary inspections get turned into the file. Some firms will have processors pick up more of the responsibilities, such as openings, appraisals, post-closings, and the actual processing part of completing the loan. And then other firms will have it more specialized, kind of like my firm. A lot of people wonder what is the pay to be a loan processor? This is another question I had a ton of on TikTok, wondering not only what the pay is regarding being a loan processor, but how loan processors get paid as well. Is it salary or is it commission? Now, unlike how most firms have it set up where loan officers get paid a bonus or commission on their work, loan processors typically get paid hourly or, sal or salary. The average I have seen for hourly pay is anywhere between $15 to $17 an hour for entry level with a salary anywhere between $40,000 to $48,000 a year entry level with a possibility of bonuses and again that all just depends on the company you work for. Note that these are hourly and salary wages for full-time employees and they might vary depending on your position whether you're a processor or a junior processor or an intern or full-time. What is the training like in loan processing? So not always, obviously you can apply at any time in the mortgage industry, but most people that work in the mortgage industry or home lending industry usually get there by referral or through somebody they know. It's a wonderful job as well if you don't have a college degree since it is not required. It definitely does help, but it is not a life or death situation if you don't have one entry level. It's completely fine. They pretty much feed you to the sharks if you saw my first vlog video on my channel. If not, you can check it out. It wasn't too bad. Um, definitely watch that. It'll calm you down. It wasn't bad. But um, you might sit with someone, shadow someone for a week or two looking at their work, but you really don't understand it until you actually do it on your own, which is actually a really great way, way to learn. It's a little bit uncomfortable, but it is the best method to learning mortgage or to learning almost nearly anything. It's very different, you know, from watching someone or listening to someone than, and then doing it yourself. But it's also good to remember it's completely fine to be uncomfortable. Being uncomfortable means that you are growing and learning. For the typical day in mortgage, most days 
in most firms are set up in either eight to five work day, which is my schedule, or a nine to five work day. The big advantage is getting early days prior to a holiday, and usually the actual holiday itself and maybe the holiday after. We also have Saturdays off. Again, that may depend on the firm, but most do have Saturdays off as being a processor. If you're a loan officer, it might look a little bit differently or a closer, but most processors have Saturdays off. Depending on the firm, you may also get paid for that holiday. You'll earn sick days, vacation days, and personal days that you can take. So yes, mortgage is a corporate setting. However, it is more relaxed. There's a lot more flexibility, I'd say, than most corporations. As long as you stay on top of your deadlines and duties and get your work done, because that's what the home lending industry is all about. Which brings me to the most wonderful thing wonderful advantage about the home lending industry. Working from home. The mortgage industry invented working from home before it was cool because many firms will allow their employees to work from home as it is a job you can do from nearly just about anywhere. Now this does not necessarily mean you're in the clear to go ahead and apply for a mortgage job in Florida when you live in Illinois but just know that you have the option to do so if it's absolutely necessary. And if it is something you decide to do, just make sure to communicate it with your supervisors and coworkers. And as long as you give them a heads up, it is something that they should be able to accommodate for you. Now, is their ability to move up in loan processing? Speaking of flexibility, when you're working in loan processing, you will more than likely get the opportunity and have to work in other departments sometimes. You could work in opening one day, appraisals the next, help people with closing and post-closing the other day. Depending on the firm, your role and the traffic of loans coming in, if one day you decide you want to work in another department within operations such as underwriting or even in sales and become a loan officer or a loan officer assistant, or even if you wanted to move to something like being a real estate agent, this is usually something that you can work your way up to or you can coordinate with your employer. My current role is a junior processor. So I have yet to become a full-time loan processor, but I have a pretty good idea of the responsibilities and what being a loan processor entails. Processing is a very underserved area of mortgage, yet it is essential. And this is actually where most of the action in a loan takes place as well. Thank you all for joining in today and watching it till the end of this video. Please share this with anyone if you know of anyone that's looking at jobs in the mortgage industry, home lending industry, real estate, and they were thinking about processing. Um, if you have a new job in loan processing, I would like to congratulate you. It is a really rewarding, exciting job. Yes, there are deadlines. Yes, you have to teach yourself, but it's the perfect opportunity for you to learn and grow into what you want to be doing within the home lending industry. If this is an industry you want to stay in, processing is a perfect area to begin in as it gives you the flexibility but you're also learning on your own and you're speaking to many different departments so you're getting a full well-rounded idea of what goes into getting a loan approved so next time you're even getting a house or a condo um, you're taking a loan out for a property remember that the processors are golden to what allowed you to get that loan so Thank your loan processor <laughs> um, and make sure to also go follow my Instagram and my TikTok if you have not already. I post a lot more information about mortgage industry, real estate, and um, personal finance every day there. So make sure to tune along and make sure to tune in every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, where I will be posting new videos right here on The Blonde Greek. Thank you all so much.